Sabic is one of the world's largest petrochemical companies. It has production sites, offices and technology centers all over the world. It serves the European market via a number of production sites. Sabic acquired the site in Teesside in 2006 to further strengthen regional production and integration in Europe. Savic made a very substantial investment in converting the UK cracker to a flexible feedstock cracker, making the Wilton site one of the most competitive sites in Europe. For Savic in Europe, the Wilton site is of strategic importance, also from a global supply chain perspective. Next to the modification of the cracker itself, the conversion project required the building of a new cryogenic ethane tank and purpose-built ships to transport the ethane from the US Gulf Coast to the UK. The state-of-the-art ships, built in China, have been designed and developed especially for SABIC by Hartmann Reederei. The firstborn of these ships is the Gaschem Beluga. She made her maiden voyage from Shanghai through the Panama Canal to Houston, where she reported in on December 11th to mark the official start of the contract hiring period. On April 27th, Hartmann Gaschem performed the naming ceremony to bring good luck to the new ship and those who sail on it. It's now time to name this not only beautiful, but impressive and high-tech vessel which lies next to us. To name a vessel is not only having a reason to celebrate, but it means a lot to the vessel for all who work with her and especially for the seafarers on board the ship. I'm very proud and honored to be the godmother of this beautiful, innovative vessel. I name you Gaskem Biluka and wish you and your crew good and safe voyages. Sabic teamed up with Hartmann Gaschem over three years ago to design and build innovative ships for the new global ethane trade. I'm very proud of this and I'm proud to, to be partner of Sabic because Sabic is one of the major companies in the world in the polychemicals. So I'm proud that we have this new vessel and we could employ it with Sabic. The design of the new ships was focused on building a so-called EcoStar gas ship. As sustainable as possible, and with a cutting edge hydrodynamic design. The optimum space utilization through the so-called tri-lobe cargo tanks increases the cargo load with 30% compared with traditional ships. The engines should be capable of using the full spectrum of bunker fuels available from traditional fuel oils to marine diesel and clean gases like LNG and ethane. The gas cam Beluga will soon be joined by our sister vessel, the gas cam Orca. And these vessels mark a new generation of semi-refrigerated ethane carriers. They have been designed to be very environmentally friendly, while at the same time having a high reliability and very cost-efficient operation. As a responsible global company, Sabic is committed to providing high-quality, competitively priced products to their customers, while doing all it reasonably can in order to reduce the environmental impact of its operations. As such, these ships illustrate the sustainable future that Savic wants to help create. Well, this ship means a lot. It's basically the best of both worlds. It is very attractive from a cost point of view as well as from a sustainability point of view. It's the first ship that will be able to use ethane as a fuel. Now, ethane is both more cost effective, it's more cheaper than fuel oil, but also it has less emissions, 20% less CO2 and a lot less nitrogen emissions. So from a cost and sustainable point of view, using ethane as a fuel is perfect. We would like to express our gratitude to all people involved, and of course, especially Hartmann and Gaskem for joining us on this really great journey in delivering a truly global supply chain. Savic has managed to lever ethane as an advantage cracker feedstock and is one of the first chemical companies in the world to use ethane as a clean fuel for their highly efficient ships. This is how Savic creates chemistry that matters. <laughs>